Cameras used as robotic eyes are advancing. Keons has created its own camera eye by releasing the VS Series Vision System. This system provides both fixed and handheld camera functionalities featuring automatic adjustments of the camera's field of view. The VSL and VSS have fixed lenses with auto-focusing capabilities, while the VSC is designed for on-hand use with various C-mount lenses. What's really cool is all models use internal robot communication wiring to minimize cable breakage, and Keons offers compatible lighting options for the system. Keons' VS series is groundbreaking. Stay tuned to see what separates it from the pack, but first, it's our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Meanwell DUPS 20 and 40 uninterruptible DC UPS modules, available in 20 amp or 40 amp, support 24 volts DC to 29 volts DC input voltage and operate in a wide temperature range. Paired with a power supply and external battery, these modules ensure system continuity by monitoring DC output. During AC mains failure, they immediately switch to battery power, preventing shutdowns and data loss. The meanwhile DUPS 20 and 40 uninterruptible DC UPS modules are ideal for industrial control systems, factory automation, electromechanical apparatus, and semiconductor fabrication equipment. Check them out today at mauser.com. Education is the foundation for almost everything we do particularly in understanding PLC power supplies. Let's explore them at David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. Most parts of a PLC are designed to get a signal from the CPU to talk to other things out in the field, perform logic, and then execute some sort of action. But there's one piece in a modular PLC that is not directly related to establishing connection with those outside field devices, and that is the power supply. Now, that's not to say that the power supplies are not important. They're actually really critical, but there's a few different flavors and not all of them are created equal. Here we have a variety of PLC power supplies. Some of them, like this Mitsubishi power supply, use AC input. That's line voltage, usually between 100 and 200 volts. Usually a 120 volt input indicated by an L and an N for a line and neutral voltage. Other cases, they're a DC power supply, usually at 24 volts, but sometimes adaptable all the way down to 12 volts. This Allen Bradley power supply has a 12 to 24 volt input, as well as this Automation Direct PLC power supply. Now we have to be careful with power supplies because some people might imagine that connecting a power supply immediately provides power to the chassis and therefore to all of the connected modules, but that's not the case. While it does provide power to the CPU and to the backplane, which powers the modules, it does not automatically transfer that power to the field devices, like the relays, the sensors. So we need to be sure that we have an external power supply in addition to the built-in power supply that's attached to our PLC system. We also have to be aware of what kind of voltage, because if we supply the wrong voltage, especially one that's too high, we can permanently damage the power supply. And these are usually pretty expensive modules to replace. So as long as we know what kind of power and where that power is distributed to, the PLC power supply can provide input for power to a large modular expandable system. Andy, back to you. Thank you, David. Okay, so what separates Keonce's VS series from the pack? Well, search tools often require clean images and take longer to process, especially with larger files. Keonce's VS series uses Shape Tracks 3A, a high-speed search tool that removes image noise and automatically optimizes parameters. Vision systems check for various part features and are useful for robots picking specific parts from a mixed bin. The VS series enables robots to identify part features and locations, reducing device requirements by combining position detection with barcode or character reading for accurate part picking. There's so much to this amazing VS series. To learn more, click the link and we'll see you there.